House Public Information Services photographer Andrew Von Bank has a deep-rooted appreciation for the artwork in the Capitol. It's kind of a passion of mine, art is, and, uh, and painting in particular. Von Bank started working at the Capitol in December of 1991. He remembers his first day of work like it was yesterday. I went into the, the rotunda and I said to myself, wow, I actually get to work in here. And uh, it's one of the most beautiful, if not the most beautiful building in the, in the whole state. There is one room that Von Bank says may just be his favorite. The retiring room, um, there's, a, there's a peacefulness to it because of that mural. And at first glance, if you look at that mural of, of the flora of Minnesota, it, it, it kind of looks flat until you look into it. Uh, it, it has so much depth. And, and there's so much going on in there. You just look through the trunks of the trees and you'll see landscapes and lakes. And, and uh, to me, it's, uh, it's my favorite room in the house, I think, or fa favorite room in the Capitol. The pastoral mural by artist Elmer E. Garnsey depicts Minnesota's many varieties of native floral and fauna, but there is one non-native species also depicted in the painting. In a mural designed to showcase the state, how did this foreign plant end up in the painting? Its appearance is a mystery to many. On Capital Quirks, we investigate the stories surrounding the strange and mysterious attributes lurking in the architectural details and paintings of one of Minnesota's most recognizable buildings, the state capitol. Some of the stories are fact-based, others are merely myths passed down throughout the decades. In this episode, we tell the backstory of this out-of-place depiction as we continue to uncover the truths contained in the Minnesota State Capitol. Take a scan of the retiring room mural and you will spot trees in the foreground and background, flowers of all colors and sizes, and ferns branching out from all different directions. Look close enough and you will see a plant that doesn't fit into Minnesota's natural scenery. Everything is indigenous to the state with the exception of one grouping of shamrocks. An anonymous Irish artist filling in colors for Garnsey added a group of shamrocks as a tribute to his homeland Brian Pease, the Capitol Historic Site Manager, says there is a record documenting the account. An Irish artist took a little liberty and painted in the corner a little bunch of shamrocks for, of course, his heritage. So Elmer Garnsey, once again the chief decorator, had, was inspecting the work and saw the man putting in the shamrocks and asked the artist, why are you putting them in there? They're not native to Minnesota. And the response was, well, if they aren't, you know, they will be someday. And so he, Elmer Garnsey let him keep that in there. This isn't the first oddity that Von Bank has photographed in the Capitol. He knows it may not be the last one either. But to him, the quirks add to the building's charm. I love this state Capitol. I think it's one of the best in the country, if not the best in the country. You know, it's intimate spaces, it's architecture, it's art. It never ceases to amaze me.